The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the Phenomenal. Byron, there's been a more highly anticipated triple threat match in recent memory. I can't recall it. Me neither, Michael. Given the three competitors involved here, I think it's safe to say that heading in, this is among the most eagerly anticipated triple threat matches in recent memory. Wait for it. Wait for it. God, I love when he does that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And his opponent, first, from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 205 pounds, Adam Cole. The leader of Undisputed Era. How can you not respect a man who says his name with so much style and passion, Saxton? Let me try it. Adam Cole, baby! A world-traveled superstar been making waves all around the independent scene for nearly a decade. Incredible athlete, incredible trash talker. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Fight Owens, fight! I hope for Kevin's sake, everyone leaves him alone. Poor Kevin's got the worst luck, is constantly mistreated by general managers on both Raw and SmackDown. You ever stop to think that maybe the fault is Kevin Owens? Maybe it's the fault of the guy looking at him in the mirror? Kevin Owens is the most paranoid superstar I've ever seen. It's always everybody else's fault. I would be remiss if I didn't mention, and it's important to remember amidst the chaos of a triple threat match, that victory can be achieved in many different ways, oh, yeah. and that it's every man for himself. German suplex!
I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water in the pool. Beautiful technique. A competitor must be ready for the possibility that they'll fall victim to a two-on-one attack on a triple threat match. A great example of that was the triple threat match on SmackDown Live between AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, and Baron Corbin. No one thought that Ziggler and Styles would work together to perform a double dive off the barricade that put Corbin through the Spanish announce table. And that's exactly what a superstar always needs to have in the back of their mind. That at some point, their two opponents will most likely join together and take them out. It's one of many occupation hazards that come with competing in a triple threat match. I personally think fighting champions are idiots, but AJ Styles hasn't turned away any challengers since joining SmackDown Live. Harsh impact. AJ Styles has got him. This may be the beginning of the end. AJ Styles seems helpless. Corey, you said before that his constant defenses are idiotic. But between his U.S. Championship Open Challenge and his WWE Championship reigns, we've seen plenty of all-time classics. Who else but AJ Styles would give Ty Dillinger a United States Championship match mere weeks after his debut? Or give James Ellsworth two WWE Championship opportunities? That's why he's the champ that runs the camp. You just proved my point, idiocy. An easy kick out for Adam Cole. It's gonna take more than that. When talking about Kevin Owens, it's been said about his tendency to be deceitful. Make no qualms about it. KO is simply a competitor first and a friend second. Others' opinions are absolutely irrelevant to Kevin Owens. So if you think Owens victimizes his friends, Imagine what he'll do to his enemies. Uh-oh. Uh oh He's a guy that can turn it on whenever he wants. You alluded, Corey, to the notion of Kevin Owens not caring about his friends' opinions. That is an unusual stance to live your life by. It really allows Owens to be cold and easily isolate himself away from any allies. Michael, sometimes I feel sympathy for how KO thinks. I see Kevin Owens having no line between friends and enemies. They are all one and the same. It's just a matter of who he can use to get what he wants. AJ Styles with a nice reversal. You only got one. Make the last shot count. Truly devastating, Cole. Oh, man. AJ Styles is in trouble. At 2016's Clash of Champions, it was another classic triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship. It was Bailey versus the boss, Sasha Banks, versus the champion, Charlotte Flair. The match started out more like a singles match between the boss and the queen. Bailey learned very quickly it was air. Kevin Owens, pump handle applied. Oh, God. oh man, right on the back of the neck. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match. Stunner! Stunner! Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. This may very well be it. The triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship was another example of the incredible competition between the female superstars of WWE. Boom! This is all but over. Boom! <laughs> Can he finish the... Broken up. And the match continues. He's on the defensive now. His hopes of winning this match appear to be dwindling in a hurry. You'd have to think he came into this triple threat match with a plan. And I think it's safe to say that that plan has gone wrong. And it's Adam Cole showing some agility. This does not look good for Kevin Owens. Back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Now in full control. Showing off some of his speed there. Pretty obvious that Kevin Owens is feeling the pain that has been dealt out so far. You have to wonder how much longer he can go on like this. Yeah, Kale will have something new to complain about.
if things stay this way. He's been complaining about your commentary for years, Saxton. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Back in the ring now. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Yeah. The shoulders are down. Two. Oh, yeah. oh, he kicked out. Unbelievable. Wow, I thought this was over. This might be it. Oh, my. What a reversal by AJ Styles. Styles is always thinking. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. And it's Adam Cole showing some agility. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Amazing triple threat contest. 